Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 80 <laughs> again for the first time ever um, uh, of Ocean Block. So, um, in today's episode, we're gonna be going deeper into blood magic. Um, we're gonna get that tier 3 altar. That's right, and we're gonna uh, start planning for the tier 4 getting the rooms and things ready so that all we have to do is put those little bloodstone rooms on the top or the bricks bloodstone bricks on the top of the pillars to finish it off um i'm not 100 percent certain how we're gonna do that but we'll figure it out uh so let's go let's go to blood magic um I added these little fallen canad can can canade canada <laughs> however you want to say it. Um, I only put mana in one of them, and it seemed to help so much. <laughs> I get to stand here and boop, and then get my life back pretty quickly. We'll get it go. It's still eating up my hunger, um, but. Once it gets it down, it doesn't go further. So yeah, I can fill it up in no time. Uh, so that is completely filled up and we're ready to do our combines for our rooms. Um, uh, Cause I have, I even made a whole bunch of extra slates. Um, because I was testing it out, seeing how fast it would go, and it was pretty fast. It was pretty fast. Um, I used the Akashic Tome to uh, look up the Batania stuff on how to make the flower. Um, and I didn't know how to, to get it back, so you gotta left click the book to deselect it and right click the, to select it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so what we need is to make our runes. Oh no! Scooch forward. Um. So we need this. What was? Oh, it was. I need to make the runes first. Um, I need 20 of those. Why, oh, why does it do that? There we go. 20 blank rooms. What? Uh, it used one of my, oh, okay. I think it just put it in the system. So we'll put that in the system, put that in the system. And then my blood orb went in the system too. Awesome. So we have the 20 self sacrifice runes. Uh, also, I think we completed the quest for this guy. Spectrous Scandalium Globe Trotter Sash. Okay, uh, so let's get these guys placed. We're gonna get down here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Next corner. is full uh, so I won't be able to see but once I get it upgraded I can make um, I can make those capacity rooms which would be awesome oh yeah 
Um, so we gotta upgrade our, our orb again. Let's see about uh, those away. What we got? Okay, so the apprentice blood orb needs to be turned into. Let's get the book out. Um, let's go to the altar, the blood altar. Uh, here's the tier three one. Uh, oh, we want the orb. Tears of Slates, Soul Network. Okay, oh, and this increases our max LP that we can store. Uh, we want the Magician Blood Orb. I can't, I can't click on it or anything. Here we go. Uh, weak Blood Orb. This is the one we did, so we need to do the block of gold and we need to get 25,000 LP into the block of gold uh, which is going to be tricky because we only have 10,000 in there so uh, I don't think it'll be an issue since we have that fallen canade there canada canade um, so we're full life we're next to that um, we can start this thing up and then let it drain to where, let's go, oh no. <laughs> I may need to eat. I don't know if I have time. <laughs> that ought to help. Oh, we did it! Ha! I thought I was gonna fail for a minute. Okay, so now we can put this guy away. Oh, and we got, I know we had it. We had it, but the challenge <laughs> was to make it. So we did that. We got the Magician Blood Orb going. Uh, so now we can make the capacity uh, runes. What do those take? Uh, just the blank runes and imbued slate, which so I need to make four imbued slate. Is that the right slate? Boop. No, oh, that's reinforced. Oh no. <laughs> we gotta That's crazy. Wow, did that just fill that up? Oh, I guess because it's counting the runes, it's now the tier three altar. What? Yes. We are mighty and all powerful. <laughs> Uh, so I'm curious as to how much we'll get per poke now. Okay, so we gotta upgrade these more. And that takes 5,000. Wow. Did I have enough? Yes. 
Okay, there's the imbued slate. So we only have a thousand left. Oh, it filled it up. We got nine. We got over nine thousand. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, so we definitely need these capacity runes if we're getting more than nine thousand for each poke. Okay, you got five thousand. And boop. Okay, one more poke. Oh, it filled it up. We get over 10,000. Nice. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so throw this guy in. 10,000. I wonder how much. Uh, Four of these will increase it. Runic capacity. Oh, I need the, the blank runes. I need these corners. And ta-da! Um, you. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This is how we do it. Oh, I just saw it. Uh, update. Uh, let's get our little divination sigil out. It does 18,000, but I think that's going to go up um, when it hits the tier 4. Four altar. And I think it also increased the internal capacity because it's getting drained. Oh, because I think it does 10%. Uh, so instead of a thousand, it'd be 1800. So there, now, now it stopped, which is about right. That added 800. To the internal bank. Uh, so pretty cool. Um, pretty cool and awesome. And then the next, oh, the next one is seven on each side. So we need 28 uh, runes for that. So we need uh, <laughs> 28 blank slates uh, to get to it. Um, Okay, so let's do this. We got all of these. Boom, boom. We'll leave that up there because we still need more of those. And we got our blood orb. Ooh, a gargantuan flux storage. Nice. Um, that is pretty cool. So I know there was. Uh, it would be really nice to have like the little um, doodad where I could always have like a lava source and a water source uh, because I have my buckets um, <laughs> but I always have to go run and get the water, get the lava instead of just having it uh, on me uh, because then I'd have a water bucket and a lava bucket and I wouldn't be able to do anything else with it besides carry that around. So I think it would be pretty cool to have uh, the infinite water and infinite lava just to save me from having to uh, go collect those because I do a lot of bouncing between my levels because uh, sometimes I need water on the third level and I don't have it. It's on the second level. Um, so let's let's look at making that real quick. Um, I think it's just, they're called sigils. We've got all kinds of sigils in Blood Magic. Uh, the green grove is pretty cool. It helps your crops grow faster. The fast miner, magnetism, 
sigil of the, the the magnetism would work like this only it would draw from the blood network so um, we kind of don't want something that's going to be on like that a lot because we don't have a lot of blood in our network yet we don't have an automated way of doing that uh, seer sigil or um, we don't have a way to hold massive amounts of, uh, of LP just yet. The water sigil, that's what we want right there. So we need the alchemy array, a water regent, and a blank slate. We got a blank slate. <laughs> so all we need is this water regent. And that is sugar and two water buckets in the alchemy table. Um, so I can, I could totally do that. Uh, two water buckets in the alchemy table. Uh, but I need the sugar to, I gotta be right on the edge to get this sugar. Okay, uh, oh, that's not what I need. I need this guy. I need this guy right here. Make the little outline, put the sugar in it, and that didn't do anything. Neither did that. Let's get this out. Turns out we didn't need all that stuff. Um, so, a sugar and then the blood orb. Uh, insufficient LP in soul network or blood orb is not found. Oh! There we go. Um, Let's drain that. There we go. Oh, uh, it actually can hold more than 10,000 now, so I don't max it out. That's good. That's good. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and fill it up much as we can and then <laughs> there we go what was I doing with the crazy chalk there we go and we got our water buckets back excellent um, oh I know the chalk is for this step and then you do the water regent uh-huh there we go and a boop oh isn't that sweet looking boop. and now we have a water sigil so I guess we've got to bind it now it's bound to me so we'll draw from my blood network and I can just uh boop. <laughs> I got water nice um so now there's the lava one Do not eat. 
So we need the same thing only with the lava regent, which is a lava bucket, redstone, cobblestone, and a block of coal. We can do that. I can even make a lava bucket from here, I think. Um, Bucket. Let's put this stuff back in. Yeah. Um. Lava sigil. What else do we need? Redstone and a block. The lava region. Oh, I forgot the cobblestone. There we go. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I got it. Okay. You know what else would be really cool? I like these. What if we just put. stands out on the brown path. Uh, <laughs> I know, I just used it. <laughs> it looks cool. I like it. Um, there we go. Lava sigil. Oh, yeah. There we go. So now I can summon lava. That's awesome. Now we need the uh, sigil of holding, I think. That was always a cool doodad to get. A holding regent. Okay, two screen, a leather, and a chest in the alchemy table. Screen. Leather. And a chest. Alright. Good, because I think I left my orb in there. I did. Aha. And then we do the same thing with the slate. Awesome. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. They all look different. Didn't I do that right? It's got to be a viewed slate. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> Why did it take my slate if it's the wrong one? And I believe this is the reinforced slate. Yeah, so we gotta do it one more time. At least it's pretty fast. Okay. Oh, I think I might have to break it. Okay. Well. Okay, now let's do it. Aha! <laughs> Helps to put the right slate. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So I think, oh yeah, look, you can see it over on the right. Um, how do I get things in there? Go. <laughs> I don't know how to get them in there. Okay, maybe it says something in the book about the sigil of holding. I don't see how to get it in there. Dungeon delving. Ooh. Perform the edge of the hidden realm ritual to gain a foothold in the demon realm. It's dangerous places full of threats, traps, and treasure. Look, there's the Tau fruit in there. The antechamber and simple keys. So this is how we get the Tau fruit to get the tier four altar. Upon performing the edge of the hidden realm ritual, you will find yourself looking at an inversion pillar. Right click this pillar to be transported to the antechamber. Your first foray into the demon realm. There are a few things of note in this first room. A single treasure chest containing some basic loot, and if you are lucky, a few simple keys. Secondly, a number of doorways, each locked with a dungeon seal. Use a key on these seals to unlock the next room. Thirdly, an inversion pillar, the mirror of the one you summoned previously, right-click this to return to your world. There's also a large number of decorative blocks here, should you feel your home base needs some pizzazz. <laughs> cool. Um, any additional rooms you open from this antechamber will contain some combination of loot, monsters, traps, and possibly some unactivated rituals. Keep your eyes peeled. A few examples of loot that you might find are enchanted books, enchanted weapons and armor, Various anointments, demon wheel, potion ingredients, tau fruit, saturated tau, and tau oil. So get hunting and keep an eye out for treasures and traps alike. What's the demon wheel? Um, I saw that we needed will to uh, make um, something in the the Hellfire Forge. Once you have a blood altar, you will need to gather a few demon wheels. There are two ways to get demon will. Killing a mob that has been hit with a soul snare and is killed when white particle effects appear. By killing a hostile mob with a sentient sword, since you are just beginning to use the mod, you will not yet have a sentient sword, and thus will need to use a soul snare. Demon Will is a recurring resource in Blood Magic and is used to power the Hellfire Forge. In the lore of Blood Magic, Demon Will is the residual effect of when a demon imbues its will into the bodies of the dead or other monsters. So we need this soul snare for our first will, which is a stream in a blood altar. Soul snares are your gateway into the Demon Will portion of Blood Magic. Using the snare is simple enough. Craft a good quantity of them and throw them at hostile mobs. White particle effects will appear around them 
then it's time to go in for the kill. On death, they will drop a demon will. Before you ask, yes, the looting enchantment will increase the amount of will dropped. Once you've gathered a couple, you can get to work on crafting yourself a sentient sword and a tartaric gem. These will make collecting demon will much easier. So we need spring in a blood altar. What? I've never done this before. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, spring. Uh, let's get like half a stack, I guess. I was looking for something for the sigil of holding, but okay, what do we got in here? 5,000? Um, I need this. Oh wow, that's pretty fast. Um, this is crazy. Um, <laughs> but we have our tier 3 altar. Um, and so all we're looking to do is to get up to the tier 4 altar. Uh, which we need <laughs> in order to uh, complete our altar. I don't know that there are any singularities that uh, require crafting something in blood magic. Like, uh, I don't think there's a slate, uh, <laughs> a slate um, singularity. Uh, and plus, I need to get this automated. Oh, it only stacks to 16. What are we down to? 8,800. Super fast. Uh, plus, once we upgrade this to tier 4, it's gonna be um, have an even bigger internal storage because of the uh, I believe those capacity runes are capped out at the tier three altar. Uh, like they only give you a certain amount of the bonus. All right, um, where can we go to get some good hostile mobs to kill? Uh, maybe we should save this for the next episode because I think uh, I've been recording for a while now. And the last one. Uh, and I will uh, try to get some more runes going. Um, did my, my, my mana pool? <laughs> it's, it's all gone. <laughs> no, I have to eat. Um, I, only, I only put a little tiny bit in there, so that got me a ton of regen. Um, let's put, put a little bit in there. This is all I did last time, and it got me a good amount of regen. Uh, so I was really, I was really happy with that. All right. Um, let's do this. Let's put our runes and this stuff away. Um, we don't need any of this where we're going. We can put this stuff back on there, I believe. And these need to get put inside. We need to hang on to these because we need that. And I can put uh, the buckets away, and we can just put the tome away in there. Um, so let's go to tier two uh, and put this stuff away. Boop, boop. Um, and then 
let's see what we can do. I think going to the nether, we would have plenty of mobs to kill. Um, but we'll need our sword. I don't want to use the um, Supremium Paxel because it only has 5 attack damage and this has 24. And I haven't made any any more upgrades for that, so I might want to do that because um, that I only have the base three. I bet if I put enough damage in there, <laughs> if I just filled up this half with damage, that would be a lot. Um, but let's do this. Um, we have fire resistance, so going to the nether shouldn't be a problem. We just need to go here. Let's go see how this works. Oh, we could have gone to the end too. And tested it out on uh, an enderman, but they have lots of more hit points. I was thinking maybe we could go find... Uh, one of these little skelly dudes. Oh, but I don't have looting. Ah. I know I have a looting book. That's not where I want to go. I have a looting book that I got. Oh, let me in. <laughs> let me in. <laughs> Goodness. Uh oh. That I got while I was trying to get uh, soap touch for the building gadget. Um, uh, so that was on like level three. I just wonder, can I put an enchantment on the draconic sword? Oh, that that's not the one I want. I got looting three several times. put it on there. That is super cool and awesome. So that should help a lot. Uh, we're doing tons of damage. I'm tempted to do the, the pigmen, but there's so many of them. And I think I already clobbered all of these ones that are pretty close. Um, maybe I could just come down here. Aha, here's some guys. Let's go go snack this guy. Uh, got him! Whoa! Oh, did I get it? I think I missed him. I'm getting Demon Will. but I didn't get will. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, 
Aha, uh -huh, it's just a chance, I guess I'll get it. Well, that's really cool. Um, so, <laughs> I'm gonna, I guess, do that uh, in between episodes. Can I teleport from here? Yes! <laughs> I love it. Okay, so in between episodes, I'm gonna try and collect some more of this will. Uh, and get, get some more, get tier four. Uh, go to the demon realm. Um, so we'll probably need to get the ritual diviner. Ritual Diviner. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, it takes all of these inscription tools, which shouldn't be an issue. Just um, some stuff in the blood altar. Not a big thing. And then we'd have to, to make Master Ritual Stones. Um, oh yeah, okay, so we got a lot of work to do still. <laughs> so, um, let me know your blood magic struggles <laughs> in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!